All right, now we're going to start the uh, virtual open house for today. I just want to thank you all for joining us today for the Bicycle Health virtual open house. My name is Jessica Leahy, and I am one of the senior enrollment coordinators in the enrollment department. I will be your host for today. And with myself, along with other speakers of today's event, I am very excited to speak with you all about Bicycle Health, the services that we provide, and the lives that we are saving every day. So thank you all so much for taking the time out of your busy lives to learn more about what we do. I would like to go over just a couple of disclosures before we get started. Firstly, please know that this presentation is being recorded for quality assurance and training purposes. Secondly, this presentation is not intended to provide any type of medical advice and is intended to only provide the public with an overview of bicycle health, our program, and how it works. During this open house, we will offer individuals suffering from addiction and their loved ones an opportunity to connect with providers, recovery coaches, and other staff of Bicycle Health from the comfort of your own home. Attendees of this event will gather information from speakers regarding program details, what Suboxone is, how it works, and the success rates of patients using Suboxone for their recovery next to other treatment methods. Attendees will also learn about Bicycle Health and our services and what sets Bicycle Health apart from other addiction clinics. Our agenda for this event is as follows. I'm going to be get, begin by giving you all an introduction of Bicycle Health and how and why Bicycle Health was created. I am then going to bring in our clinician, Sarah Purdy, to discuss telehealth and the benefits of treatment. Um, she will also be speaking on Bicycle Health's clinical model. In addition, a, mem a member of our Bicycle Health care team will discuss what Bicycle Health's managed patient's care looks like while being an established patient. We also have a guest speaker, um, Peter Boutro and Jenna Bonpadre to talk about how Bicycle Health goes above and beyond for our patients. Another topic that we'll be covering is what the process looks like to enroll into the program. From there, we'll go through a brief tour of the Bicycle Health app, where you will be able to learn all about how our app works, what it does, its different functionalities, and how user-friendly it is. I will then conclude the open health with some time for questions. If you happen to have any questions or concerns along the way, please feel free to utilize the Q&A functionality within the Zoom meeting. And one of our top customer support specialists, Gina and Robin, will be helping you um, to answer your questions. We also have a Q&A help from Sarah Purdy, one of our Bicycle Health's top clinicians. If you notice the image to the right, all you need to do is select the Q&A icon listed towards the bottom of your Zoom video and a Q&A pop-up should appear, enabling you to type. And in case you are wondering, no worries, you do have the option to send the questions anonymously. So why are we called Bicycle Health? When our founder was developing our organization, he found a lot of similarities between addiction recovery and riding a bike. You have uphills and you have downhills. You can move slow or you can move fast depending on your choice of speed for pedaling. Many times you start out with training wheels until you feel comfortable riding the bike without them. Sometimes without the training wheels, we fall off and that's okay. The goal is to get back on the bike and keep going and not let the fall deter you from riding that bike. Bicycle Health was started about five and a half years ago by our CEO and founder, Ankit Gupta. An, engineering, an engineer by training, Ankit wanted to create technology that had an impact in meeting and realized that there was a huge need to help people suffering from addiction. At the time, fentanyl and other opiate addiction were skyrocketing, so the organization decided to focus on treating opiate addiction after spending several months connecting with people in recovery and listening to their stories. He began building the Bicycle Health Treatment Program. Bicycle Health began as an in-person treatment center in Redwood City, California in 2019. The first clinic had eight staff members and about 150 patients. The clinic was successful, but to make it easier for patients to access care, the organization decided to start seeing patients via telehealth as well as in person. It quickly became apparent that much of the stigma that came along with addiction evaporated in the telehealth environment, and it became much easier to positively impact the lives of patients. Telehealth made things like caring for children or an elderly loved one easier, and it made it easier for people to stay employed and seek treatment that would fit their work schedules. 
Travel often impacted treatment as well, along with privacy concerns. Telehealth fixed all of those problems. So what is telehealth? Telehealth is the delivery of, te of healthcare remotely by means of telecommunication technology, meaning telehealth allows a healthcare provider to care for a patient without an in-person office visit. When COVID-19 hit, Bicycle Health adapted to a telehealth model and they never looked back. Maintaining a telehealth treatment model has been a game changer for our patients. It enabled us to provide a higher quality treatment from anywhere in the country. In just three years, Bicycle Health had gone from eight staff members to almost 300. We've gone from serving patients in one state to being licensed to treat patients in 29 states. And most importantly, we've gone from around 150 patients to more than 20,000 patients. Our current retention rate after 30 days is 86% for insured patients compared to the industry average of 69%. Our current retention rate after 90 days is 80% for insured patients compared to the industry rate of 44%. The no-show rate for bicycle health patients is 9.5% compared to 23% as the industry average. And the current age range from our patients is 18 to 77 years of age. Bicycle Health is HIPAA compliant and is one of the only telehealth companies that employ full-time clinicians and on-call teams. In 2022, Bicycle Health was listed as one of Time Magazine's most influential companies. Our mission is to increase quality, affordable, convenient, and private opioid disorder treatment for all. And our vision is to enable everyone with a chronic disease to live healthy and a fulfilling life. As mentioned before, we are currently licensed to treat in a majority of the 50 states. The dark orange on the map indicates the states that we are presently active in, and we are working diligently to get the rest of the map filled up with this orange. So let's get into it. I would like to introduce you to Sarah Purdy, who happens to be one of our fantastic clinicians here at Bicycle Health. Sarah is an associate regional, regional, oh my goodness, regional medical director for the Northeast region. She has been working in the mental health field since 2016 and has been working in the addiction field for 2018. Sarah also has experience practicing in the emergency room, urgent care, as well as primary care. She is going to speak with you all, not just about opioid use disorder, sometimes called OUD, but also about telehealth and how telehealth is truly one of the best treatment methods for those who are suffering from addiction. She's going to speak um, with you all about Bicycle Health clinical model and our organization's approach to treating OUD. Thank you so much, Sarah, and feel free to take it away. Well, hi, everybody, and thank you so much for giving us some of your time today. And thank you, Jessica, for that intro. So I'm Sarah Purdy. Um, I'm one of the assistant regional medical directors of the Northeast region of that big map that you saw. And what that means when you meet one of our providers, a lot of us have had experience in medicine in many different fields. And we also saw this big need for change. And we all found each other at Bicycle and we're all here to help you reach your goals. So with that, let me kind of fill you in on what we do at Bicycle and how we can hopefully help somebody out there who needs any support we can give. So next slide, please. All right, so we approach it in a very holistic approach, multi-step. So there's many medications out there um, that can reach the same goal, but what we focus on is something like Suboxone. That's a brand name of two different ingredients. It has the buprenorphine and the naloxone. What's important about that is whenever we take an opioid for any reason, you name it, goes into the body, goes in the brain and attaches to a mu receptor. And that's where it's going to do whatever it's supposed to do. Pain control activates the receptor on different levels and a, sometimes a different response happens. So now what the suboxone is going to do or the buprenorphine, it's going to attach to that same receptor like a baseball to a baseball glove and help with withdrawal, cravings, or whatever negative effects. So it's gonna partially activate versus fully activating the receptor as some of the opioids might do. What's unique about what we use with the Suboxone is it has that naloxone component, which is for safety, which is for overdose risk. So what we're trying to achieve on our first step when somebody comes to us is safety, symptom control, and just transitioning from one to the other to stop the cravings, to stop the withdrawal. Um, 
in a very safe environment and a very safe way to do that on telemedicine. So next slide, please. So how do we do it? We have different phases. So meaning everyone comes to us very different phases. That's why we love bicycle. Every step of the way, we get people who transfer to us, who, who's been on this journey. We can pick up where we left off. We come and go. So meaning if we are struggling with something and we're trying to get on the suboxone, we, we call that our induction phase. We're going we're gonna to shift from one to the other. And we have a whole system in place to do that. We, we talk about comfort meds. We talk about how we can do it safely and as comfortable as possible at home. And during this process with our bicycle app, you have one-on-one -on -one messaging to your provider and your whole care team. We're creating a village as you go through this with 24 hour access to make it as safe and seamless as possible. So we do the hard part. You do the hard part. Together we do that, right? So we're off of the opioid, we're onto the, the buprenorphine product or Suboxone. And then we go through this maintenance period of we're going to be catering and adjusting that dose. We're going to fine tune it to find what works for you, your lifestyle, your metabolism. And as we go through that, we're incorporating other goals. Do we have smoking sensation? Do we have other goals? Do we have some mental health goals that we're wanting to do? We're able to do all of that in our maintenance phase. We pull in our recovery coach team, our recovery coach services. So meaning it is such a village team-based process to get where your particular goal will be. And then as we go through the maintenance, we still consider what's, what's working for you. Do we need to look at tapering the dose, um, dose reduction? We want the lowest dose to meet that need. So it's not a cookie cutter type program. We're going to be molding it and catering it to you on each phase of the journey with Bicycle. And during all that, it's 100% online. Bicycle has built a tremendous platform on the app with resources, one-on-one, -on -one, private. I, I help people in, I don't know, 16 different states at this point. And I see them on their lunch break. They're walking a dog. They're outside. They're huddled in a closet because their kids are watching a TV show out there. I mean, we can, if you have, I tell my patients, if you have the internet, and your phone, you have access to me and your care team, which has had beautiful results for our patients on so many levels. Is there another slide? So meaning our model has been shown to work. We have created a very safe, non-judgmental village that's accessible from your phone. And our medication approach to induction phase. How do we get to where we're comfortable? Our maintenance phase. How do we reach your goals? Where do we want to go with this? And then if a taper is needed, where are we going to continue this journey together? Has been saving lives and has been changing lives of our patients, which we all completely are just ecstatic about. So I'll be here at the end as well to answer any questions about any of this as we go. They're going to introduce you to all the wonderful things that Bicycle has to offer. And I'm so happy to have you everyone here. And I think that sums up my part. Thank you all very much. I appreciate your time. Let me go ahead and turn my camera back on. There we go. All right, so now, thank you, Sarah, again, for speaking on that. And we're, now we're going to introduce you all to Jenna, or Gina Bon Padre. And Gina is going to speak with you all about what it looks like when you're an established patient here with Bicycle Health. Again, thanks so much, Gina. Thank you, Jessica. Um, my name is Gina, and I am a senior clinical support specialist with Bicycle Health here in the West region. Um, been here almost two years now, and I'm part of your village, like Sarah mentioned, um, here at Bicycle Health. As a clinical support specialist, I get to witness just the incredible accomplishments of our patients by going through this program. Our patients are able to live their lives, maintain employment, get promotions, rebuild relationships that they never thought possible. And having this program via telehealth allows you as the patient to have your appointment in the comfort of your own home, walking your dog um, at the days and times that do work best for you. 
Now, after you've enrolled into the program, uh, you've had your first appointment scheduled, you're going to get a link to download the Bicycle Help app. This app is all that you need to have your appointments and to reach your care team. Behind the scenes, your care team, uh, the clinical support specialist, we're calling your pharmacy. We want to make sure that they're stocking your medication prior to your appointment uh, because our goal is to make this transition as seamless as possible for you. So by locating that medication ahead of time, it prevents a delay in your induction period and reduces the time that's spent kind of going back and forth uh, with, you know, with your team. So now you've had your first appointment. You did it. We are so proud of you. Congratulations. We know that that is a huge step that you just took. And again, we're just so proud. Your provider went over with you during your appointment how to start the medication and gave you an induction plan for you to reference. If you have questions about this or anything, the app is the place to reach out to us. We are your care team. If you've ever been to a doctor's office before, uh, the nurse or the medical assistant calls you back, they ask you a lot of questions, get your vitals and things, and they pass you off to your provider. Well, that's us. That's what we do. Every patient is assigned a care team, and we can help assist with 90% of whatever it is that you need. Once you are established, we can schedule follow-up appointments. Uh, we can answer pharmacy issues, stick, check stock at different pharmacies. Um, we can do things like treatment verification letters. If you have questions about urine drug screens, updating your personal information, um, maybe you've started a new medication over the counter with a different provider and you have questions about it. The list just goes on and on. Of course, if we need to reach out to your provider for urgent medical issues, we obviously do, and you do have access to reach your provider as well. Also, if your provider is out of the office, we do have on-call and covering providers that are available to assist as well. And while we're behind the scenes, we're also here to support you. We want to listen to your concerns. We want to celebrate your successes, um, hold you accountable to for your program, because this is your program. This is your recovery, and we are here for you for all of it. Now, your care team is not only comprised of medical personnel, but also includes highly innovative tech support and engineering team that's always looking for ways to improve the overall app experience. I mean, in the age of technology, things happen, right? This highly skilled team is here to help resolve those unforeseen tech issues and get things back on track as quickly as possible. We also have a dedicated financial management team, whether you are self-pay or an insurance patient, we want to make sure that your billing is accurate and as painless as possible. And we do understand things happen, right? Life comes up. So when you do reach out to us in the app, we are able to send requests to places like the finance team uh, for things like changing a billing date, for example, and any other financial related issues, uh, questions that you might have. Now, as I said before, our tech team, along with other departments, are always trying to find new and innovative ways to make your experience better and easier. And recently, we just launched our newest feature that enables our established patients to reschedule their upcoming appointments if it doesn't work out for you. Having this feature allows for you to be seen when it best fits into your busy life. We do look forward to sharing the latest and greatest improvements that our amazing teams are working on to make your experience with Bicycle Health the best that we have to offer to you. And we'll go over a lot more of that a little bit later on as well. Now, MOUD, um, which is the medication for opioid use disorder, it's not only about medication, but it involves treating the whole person, which also includes our mental health. And because of, <clears throat> excuse me, because of this, you also have access to a one-on-one -on -one licensed therapist, uh, group therapy, as well as peer-led support groups and care coordination. Some of us have been where you are. Um, some of us are on the outside looking in. If you're not comfortable at first talking with a therapist one-on-one, -on -one, 
I always recommend going to a support group or a group therapy session and just sit and listen. There's so many different groups, all walks of life, most days of the week, all hours of the day. Every single person in there has their own story that might resonate with you. Maybe your story can help them. I do recommend at least trying it once. You might find it very helpful. This is just one of the messages that you will find in the app as a patient at Bicycle Health. Rebuilding damaged relationships or making healthy new ones can be very helpful in recovery. And our recovery support programs can help you do that. Um, Peter is actually gonna be talking more about that a little bit later on as well. Now, what I do want to discuss a little bit further is um, how we go above and beyond for our patients is something that we're very proud of, something we're very passionate about um, is our, our patients care and doing everything and anything that we can to help support them where they are. One of the few ways is through pharmacy searches. Unfortunately, some pharmacies still believe in the stigma against OUD and refuse to fill telehealth prescriptions, but rest assured, your care team will call other pharmacies until we can find that right pharmacy for you. We have partnered with specific non-judgmental pharmacies that will work with kindness and respect um, that our patients deserve that are taking Suboxone. And our team is always available to help you with any other pharmacy questions. We call multiple pharmacies until we find just the right one. We have a database um, to call our pharmacies in relation to your location. We get confirmation speaking to a live person that the medication is in stock. They're able to fill our prescriptions um, and some even take discount coupons such as Optum Perks. Now, Optum Perks is a discount program that we're partnered with also, and it can be used by any patient who is self-pay with their pharmacy to get a discount on the medication. Our team can work with your provider to get you a discount coupon that has your individual prescription and pharmacy information, again, relevant to your specific location. Um, sometimes these coupons can cut the cost almost in half, if not more, uh, and a lot of our patients do love this option. And excuse me, finally, a part of your journey with us also includes uh, urine drug screen testing. Our urine drug screen kits are included in the monthly rate and are delivered in a very discreet um, brown box that um, you can inform your team if you want it to be shipped to uh, your home or maybe your office, a trusted friend or family if you prefer. Our devoted team is also able to send tracking link information so that you can keep an eye on your shipment and know exactly when it's supposed to arrive. We do strive every single day to make your life just a little bit easier while you're here with us. Now, something else um, you may have heard about the Alabama legislation that went into effect in 2022. The Act 2022-302 prohibited clinicians from writing any prescriptions for controlled substances like Suboxone and other medications via telemedicine without an in-person visit once a year. This was huge news and the bicycle health team, many departments knew that we had to do whatever it could, whatever we could to support our Alabama patients. Most of our patients, as you can imagine, were scared, nervous, frustrated. Um, they were scrambling. We were scrambling to find in-person care as soon as possible to avoid a delay in their treatment. Luckily, uh, we did have a clinical care team that flew to Birmingham to conduct in-person sessions with nearly 300 patients in just six days. This move allowed our patients to continue accessing their medication and their program via telehealth with us until the summer of this year. Now this year, our amazing team returned to Birmingham once again to renew access for 162 of our established patients who were still unable to find a local provider in the state of Alabama. 
our team successfully completed in-person evaluations with over 98% of these patients over the course of just three days. This was so huge and such a success for our team and our patients that they were able to, to continue care with us. Now, what's our plan for 2024? No matter what, Bicycle Health will be here to support all of our patients and help them in the best way that they deserve. Now, I would like to hand it over to one of Bicycle Health's recovery coach team members, Peter Vrutros. Peter is going to speak with you in regards to recovery coaching and that department, who they are, and what they're all about. So take it on over, Peter. All right. Thanks, Gina. And welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Peter Vertos. I'm one of the recovery coaches here at Bicycle Health. And I, I want to start by saying, you know, truly thank you all for coming. Uh, I'm over three decades into my recovery. And so, you know, all the coaches in our program have lived experience with addiction. When you complete your first appointment at Bicycle Health uh, with your provider, you'll find Bicycle Health has a wealth of support for you. The recovery coaching program is a place where you can plug in and get vitally needed support and information as you begin your journey. And, and, and I know some of you live with the, the, the stigma and, and shame of addiction for you know a, a period of time. Just rest assured that you'll find no judgment from us. Can we get to the next slide? All right. In 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 our group, uh, in in that our groups are our online, uh, you'll feel comfortable, you know, not having to worry about bumping into a neighbor or coworker there. When you arrive at your first peer support group, you'll you'll quickly see two things. You'll see that you're not alone, and that success is possible. Uh, you'll get to meet our team, who, as I mentioned, are all peers in support and long term recovery, and then you'll meet our other patients who are working on their own recoveries. We have a bunch of groups right now. We are over 30 groups a week. So you're never too far away from having a place to, to connect. And our, our groups break down into four different types. We have general groups, which are a great place to connect and, and, and hear from all your peers. We have community groups, such as a men's meetup, a women's meetup, a parenting group, early recovery group. Uh, those are a little smaller, a little more intimate, so we could have slightly deeper conversations. Uh, we have education groups where you can learn things like the, the science of addiction or, or self-care or mindfulness. Then there's also uh, activity groups, you know, where, uh, for example, we have uh, the journaling group where we work on getting into the practice of journaling and uh, all the advantages it adds to your recovery. A a as you start your, your recovery journey, th there may be you know, a lot of challenges out there. Having a place to bring, you know, all those questions is, and problems is super valuable. In some cases, maybe you heard some bad information about treatment, or maybe you're trying to uh, figure out, you know, what some realistic goals are for your recovery. By attending the, the groups, there's a place to come to learn, to understand, you know, how to be patient and, and get the work done for your recovery so you can really, really enjoy long-term success. Uh, Commonly, we, we talk about in our groups, you know, the subjects like, you know, overcoming temptation, understanding triggers, uh, and, you know, you get to hear strategies not only from us coaches, but you also get to hear from fellow patients who are, you know, working on it as well. Groups are also a place uh, where we celebrate our victories, you know, maybe you got seven days in or 30 days in or 100 days in, uh, you know, maybe there's a brand new job, a better job than you had, or, so, you know, somebody buying a card. A car. It's really important and motivating to watch our people invested in each other's success. By engaging with the recovery meetups, you'll also have additional points of contact within Bicycle Health. So if you're feeling bad about something that happened, there's a friendly, friendly place to go and talk through the issue. So I guess we go to the next slide. Okay. Now, I understand not everybody likes groups. Maybe you're not a group person. Maybe you're a little shy. Uh, we, we also have one-on-one -on -one coaching that you can use. Sometimes there just may be some issue that you may not want to talk to, you know, talk about in front of a big group of, of people, and, and that's totally okay. One-on-one -on -one coaching usually runs along a few different tracks. Uh, when someone is starting out with their recovery and they just need some help getting through that, that, that beginning phase, uh, then you have... Um, People are having some type of challenge or crisis, you know, that they're trying to overcome while also, you know, avoiding temptation. Sometimes life just may deal you some bad cards and you may need a coach to help you guide, guide you through it. Uh, we're here for you. 
when then the the next track that the coaching one-on-one coaching runs on is maybe you're doing okay but you're just working on some greater goals and you, you want to advance your recovery you want to improve your life overall we're here to help you through that too uh, recovery coaches also uh, can help patients find outside resources and, and help you remove barriers you know for your recovery there's a lot going on in your world as you're as you're starting your recovery journey so having multiple touch points here you know can make all the difference in the world finally uh, some people start out with bicycle health and they, they they may not realize or may not be ready to realize their addiction might be the symptom of uh, some deeper problem and in engaging with our recovery coach department you know we we may surface that and there are some things that, that are going on that at a certain point, you know, maybe you need a little therapy to work through. And we have an entire therapy department that could either work directly with you or can get you the resources, you know, to, to help you get through it. Here's what we know. Our providers here, they do an awesome job. Uh, when patients are engaging in all we offer, success increases. So if, if, you're, if you're just getting started, we want, we want you to know we're there for you. Um, we want to hear from you. We want to get to know you. We want to help you out and we want to see you win. So with that said, I'm going to hand it over to Robin uh, from our enrollment department and she'll take you through how that process works and answer up any questions. Awesome. Robin. Thanks, Peter. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Robin. I am one of the senior enrollment coordinators here at Bicycle Health. Um, I've been with the company a little over a year and a half, um, and I just want to go over the different options we have to enroll into our program, and then I'll go ahead and go over the additional steps needed to become an established Bicycle Health patient. Um, to start, we have multiple ways you can choose from to enroll into our program. From our website, you can actually find a chat functionality that will connect you with one of our enrollment coordinators, and they'll walk you through the process. Also, from our website, you have the ability to go on and schedule the perfect date and time for one of our coordinators to reach out to you. Or you can choose to enroll through our self-service option, which would involve you filling out an intake on your own and having an enrollment coordinator reach out once you've completed it. Or you can call just straight into our phone lines. Once you connect yourself with an enrollment coordinator, the coordinator will introduce themselves, go over the program information, as well as answer any questions that you might have. They'll speak with you about our $199 monthly rate, which covers all doctor visits for that particular month, access to online support groups, access to a care team, and all of your urine drug screening kits. Once questions are answered, the coordinator will go through about a 10 to 15 minute health questionnaire with you. This questionnaire will help us gather basic health information on you to determine if bicycle health is going to be a good fit for you and that you'll be a good fit for bicycle health. Of course, all information gathered will be kept completely confidential. During the questionnaire, the coordinator will also go over billing options with you, such as if you have insurance or if you're going to be self-pay. We are able to accept many commercial insurances, and in some states, we're able to accept Medicaid um, or Medicare. Once the questionnaire is completed, the enrollment coordinator will electronically send you the paperwork that will need to be completed via a text or email. These are just standard forms that you'll fill out when you go to any kind of doctor's office. There's a consent to treat form, a financial agreement, as well as a couple HIPAA forms to fill out. You'll also upload a photo of your ID. And if you're paying for treatment with insurance, you'll upload an image of your insurance card as well. At the time you receive your completed paperwork, we can then get your appointment scheduled. We'll first book your initial appointment. This appointment is gonna be an hour long, so you do wanna keep that in mind. After we book your initial appointment, we'll then book your 20 minute follow-up appointment. This appointment is simply so that your provider can check in on you, see how you're doing, see how you're feeling, things like that. Your follow-up appointment will be scheduled anywhere between two to seven days from your initial appointment. Now that your appointments have been scheduled, your paperwork will go into processing. 
Our enrollment team will assist you through the registration process and ensure that everything is set up for your first appointment. Once our team has finished processing all paperwork, they'll go ahead and send you the app to download onto your phone, and all you'll have to do is just wait for your appointment date and time. We at Bicycle Health certainly do our best to make joining our program as easy and seamless as possible. Before we start taking any questions from you all, we're going to hear from Gina once again. She's going to take the next few minutes to give you all some information in regards to our app and how it works. You can hear about its functionalities, its simplicity, and just how easy it is to navigate. Thank you, Gina. Thank you, Robin. Um, nice to see you all again. <laughs> um, I'm very excited to share our app with you. Like I said before, we have a, a very dedicated uh, product engineering tech support team that is working just nonstop to make the app experience much better and seamless for you as the patient. Um, so with that said, you're enrolled into the program now. Like I said before, you're going to get that link to download the app. The enrollment team is going to help you set that up. Um, you know, when you're new to new to the app, and then once you're established, you'll just simply click on the login uh, piece of it um, and follow instructions there. And after you have logged in, you're going to see like in the second image here, this is like your home screen. It's going to have your name at the top of it, um, any tasks that are due, like a urine drug screen test or questionnaires that your provider might want you to fill out. Um, it also is going to have your next appointment and when it's scheduled for. Now, also, as mentioned before, our newest uh, feature is the ability to reschedule this appointment. So if that is the case, you would just click on the appointments tab and there is going to be the option there for you to reschedule that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, in this image, you can see it shows that this patient is due for a urine drug screen testing. So if there is one due, then it will say action needed. And then you can click there and follow the very detailed instructions um, on how to submit that. Um, your provider will view that afterwards and we'll just, you know, let you know if we need anything else. Um, you can also see, like I said, uh, the next appointment. Um, and now I want you to actually focus on like the bottom right-hand corner where it has chat listed. Okay. <clears throat> now this chat, this is your two-way conversation between your care team and us. Okay. It is a live two-way chat um, during our operating hours, which is Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. EST. Uh, like we've mentioned before, though, we do have on-call support um, after hours, so don't be afraid. Um, the two-way chat is the clinical support staff chat, which again is your care team. Um, that is where you're going to get all, most all your information from questions answered. Um, the quickest reply is in that channel. Again, you can ask about insurance, uh, UDS things, prescriptions, pharmacies, just in, anything, <clears throat> excuse me, any questions that you might have. It really is your one-stop shop um, for anything that you need. And the other three channels that we have are informational. So updates, announcements, um, just general information will be posted in those which are not monitored by a care team. Now in the lower left-hand corner, um, if you notice kind of on the right side of the screen, there's a little paper clip. So if there are things like you have new insurance, uh, we, you know, we need that information to, to verify. So you would just click on the paper clip um, to attach anything like insurance information, documents uh, to fill out, you know, pictures even. Um, you know, we want to see the positive things that are happening in your life as a result of this program. So we all, we do love seeing those personal photos that you share as well. Um, we're here for you. Uh, we, and we do try to uh, reply to these messages at, as quickly as we can. 
So now on the day of your appointment, it's almost time. What you're going to do is you're going to go into the app and you're going to click on the appointments tab. Uh, we do recommend about five to 10 minutes before your appointment, just to make sure everything is working correctly. And then the join button that's grayed out right now is actually going to turn a bright green color when it's ready. And you just click there and your provider is going to be waiting for you. Um, some helpful tips, you know, for your appointments. They can be held anywhere unless you're driving. <laughs> um, but just, you know, we want to make sure that you're in a safe and secure place, you know, that your volume's up, you can hear each other, um, strong Wi-Fi, things like that. Um, the appointments go, having appointments this way just make things go a little bit smoother. And of course, if you run into any technical issues, you can send us a message in the clinical support chat so that we're aware and can let your provider aware. Now, after your appointment is done, um, also in the app, in about an hour or so after your appointment, you can check back in the app. Uh, under the tab that says meds, and it will show your prescriptions that have been sent over in the pharmacy that it has been sent to. And of course, if you contact your pharmacy and there are any issues in regards to that, um, then you can reach out again into the clinical support chat and let us know and we can work on that for you. Um, now, the final piece that I just wanna briefly touch on is the resources tab that is at the bottom here that houses so much information. There are FAQs on just about anything that you can think of. Um, if you're a self-pay patient, there's also a, a billing information in there. Um, again, almost anything, if you're not really sure what to ask, where to ask, um, Anything that you can think of is under that resources tab under the FAQs, support group information like Peter was talking about. Uh, you can find all that information under the resources tab. And of course, any questions that you have, we are here to help. Reaching out to us in the app is our primary way of communication with you. Um, and we're happy to have you, happy to, to have you come in and, and see what we're all about. Awesome, thank you everyone. Um, so for now, we're gonna spend these last few moments just um, going over any questions that you guys may have had. Um, if you do have any questions, please post them in the chat and um, Robin will do her best to list off the questions and send that over to um, one of our speakers that can best answer that question. Alrighty, so we've got one question in. Um, given the pending DEA changes coming November 11th, how is Bicycle Health going to address the requirement for a one-time in-person physical evaluation? Um, I think... I can either... you me too. Perfect. So no worries. So once again, I'm Sarah Purdy. I'm the director of the Northeast. Assistant. So meaning change is, is inevitable. Look at what COVID brought to this type of platform, right? It has expanded access to care. So now that COVID is starting to change, right? So is some of the waivers, some of, some of the discussions around what's going to be this now post-COVID environment. So just know that programs like Bicycle are working very closely with federal DEA representatives, state level representatives, to make sure that we still keep this amazing type access to care available. So with these changes, the easiest way to answer a very complex question is bicycle has plan A, plan B, plan C, that there are many exceptions to these type waivers of in-person. 
that we don't foresee any lapse in care or inability to take on new patients as any of these avenues start to shift. So just know that we have an entire team of people who are partnering with so many agencies to make this accessible. And we are very confident um, we don't foresee any negative changes to come in the future. If that helps answer that question. Thank you, Sarah. Um, we've got another question here. I think Peter can help out with this one. How effective slash beneficial is recovery coaching in the road to recovery? Kind of touched a little bit about this. Okay, good question. One of my favorite ones to answer. So it, it, essentially the medication will take you so far. Uh, it'll get you to a condition of stable. It, once you get to a condition of stable, then you got to get yourself to a condition of strong uh, then comes time where you have to start doing a little digging around to figure out how you got addicted in the first place. You know, maybe there's some things going on that weren't addressed at some point. Uh, you know, maybe you've been addicted for a very, very long time and it's a, a matter of, you know, rediscovering how it all started, why it started, what your triggers are, uh, working through those and and then getting to the point where not only do you fix the addic the addiction, but you make your life so much better than it was you never think about going back. So that, that's kind of uh, really broad, but that's what we do in coaching. And we have fun too. All right, so we have another question. Does Bicycle Health take Medi-Cal? And I do not believe we currently are accepting Medi-Cal um, in California right now. There is another question. Um, what other medications are there for OUD and why does Bicycle Health provide Suboxone specifically? Anyone feel free. Sarah, you wanna take that? I was about to say, I bet that comes to me. So just like any specialty of medicine, of you know, primary care, emergency room, GI, there's so many different ways to get to goal. Same with the realm of addiction medicine that we specialize in. What Bicycle has done is we try to focus heavily on safety. What is the safest avenue we can get our patients to goal? Suboxone is a brand. It comes generic, but it's, it's paired with that overdose protector. So from from a safety standpoint, having your care team online, it sets us up for the most successful journey. Now, there's other types of programs. There's other types of medication. It's not a one fit for people, meaning there's something called methadone people may have heard of. Methadone is a full agonist. So that baseball to the baseball glove, right? That receptor in the brain that we're working on. What methadone is a full agonist, it's going to attached to the entire receptor. So with that, just like any type medication, there's pros, there's cons, there's so many things to look at what's going to work. You have the buprenorphine only product, a brand name Subutex. Some people may hear of that. Same thing, pros and cons. It's not mixed with that overdose protector. Um, we do talk openly about what may work for some people, even if it's not something that we specialize in. Because once again, not all all conditions are cookie cutter are the same. So we also look and talk openly about those things. And we always try to help you find what might fit that need, even if we don't necessarily specialize in it. So meaning there's so many ways to crack an egg or cut a cookie or bake a cake. And we, we definitely go over those if we need to in session. But all these questions are good. Feel free to ask anything anyone's comfortable with. I'll give it back to you. Thanks, Sarah. All right. So we have another question. What does the enrollment process look like for patients that have a referral for the program? Um, so there's, it can kind of go two ways. Um, let's say you get a referral from your provider um, or a community partnership. We'll go through the same enrollment process that we kind of went over from beginning to end. Um, we are partnered with the FBOP. We do get referrals from the Federal Bureau of Prisons with WellPath. 
Um, for those referrals, the enrollment process is a little bit different just because we're dealing with inmates who have recently been released. So a lot of them don't have phones or an email. Um, so the process is a little bit different. We do have to work with their case managers um, or the halfway, the halfway house that they're staying at to get them enrolled. Um, so I hope that answers that question. Um, there's another one. Is there an age restriction to enroll into the program? You do have to be 18 years old to enroll into the program. I would actually just like to follow up with the um, the Medi-Cal question or actually any question regarding like insurances that we accept or don't accept um, based on the state that you're in. So for Medi-Cal specifically, and again, for anything, it, even if we don't currently accept that um, insurance for the program, it could definitely change in the future. We do have a dedicated team of licensing and credentialing specialists that are working nonstop um, to get as, you know, as many insurers on board as possible. Um, so, like I said, even though we don't accept things like, like Medi-Cal today, doesn't mean that's not going to change in the future. And also, um, the, your insurance can still cover the cost of your prescriptions. So you might be self-pay through us because we don't accept the insurance at this moment, but your insurance could still cover the cost of prescriptions. Uh, there was another question that came into um, Sarah. I think this would probably be for you as well. In treating clients with Suboxone, have you had any clients develop a rash due to an allergic reaction to the Suboxone? Always good questions, y'all. So meaning whether it's an antibiotic, Tylenol, ibuprofen, anything we consume has a pro and con or potential, right? So same with the, with the buprenorphine, naloxone, Suboxone. Meaning if it's the first time we take it, we never know what's going to happen. Um, it is a possibility, just like with any other type of medication. Um, I think the take, sorry, I have a neat cat who's coming up. Um, I think the takeaway would be with us having a 24 hour support to the provider and your care team, we can navigate those things pretty quick and safe. Have I encountered it? It has happened. It's a possibility. Um, usually when these things occur, we stop what we need to do, we get resources and we make a, we make a, a change quickly in that. Um, it's definitely something we talk about. What are the potential side effects? What are you going to look out for? And what do you need to do to reach us quickly? Um, which is important when you pick any program, can you access your care team quickly if you need to? So the takeaway is everything has a risk, but with us having that 24 hour care, we're reducing risk as much as possible to prevent any negative things from happening. And then what do we do? We have plan B to help along the way too. That's a good question though. All righty, well, it looks like we have no more questions at this time. Um, so now we're just gonna come to the end of the open house. If you do have any further questions that pop into your head later, you can always send your inquiries to openhouse at bicyclehealth.com and we'll just get you a response back. If you're interested in enrolling into our program or you know anyone that would be interested in our program, you can call um, our enrollment line at 844-943-2514. You can also visit our website, bicyclehealth.com, where you can review the other enrollment options that we spoke about, such as the chat enrollment function, function. I would like to thank you all so much for taking the time to learn about Bicycle Health and what we are um, all about. I would also like to thank everyone involved that assisted with putting this event together and thank you all for what you have done and your hard work and dedication that you've put into this. Um, I just want to wish everyone to have a fantastic rest of their days to be safe and again thank you all for your time.